let me show you how you can use your Sony ZV-1 and also ZV-1F uh, camera as a webcam basically. Okay, first before you do anything, make sure to download and install this software, Imaging Edge Webcam. So it's on the Sony webpage, basically simply search for that. Okay, then first there are some things we need to do on the camera before we are able to connect it and use it as a webcam. First, make sure you have uh, the latest firmware updated on this camera. So you can go in the setup tab on the page 5 and check your version. So the latest is uh, 2.01. So 2.00 also is fine, but if, if you have the version 1, make sure to update this camera. And also I have a video on how to do that. Uh, in the version 1, I do not think uh, it works even properly as a web camera. Okay, then and then navigate to the uh, network settings here and go to the control with smartphone and make sure this is off. So then also go back and go to the PC remote and make sure this is on so we can actually control this uh, camera we're using our PC. Also in the setup number two page, uh, make sure to uh, enable this auto power off temperature to high because this uh, camera is really prone to overheat, especially if I'm using as a web camera and in 4K. Okay, then we need to connect the camera with a uh, PC and this is where I see a lot of people fail because uh, often the cable that you are using is not suitable for this. So actually to get the best results, uh, try to use this uh, like micro USB uh, directly to type C if you have type C port. This will give you the best results as this can transfer the most uh, basically data. For example, when I actually use the uh, cable that the Sony included in the box for this camera, it doesn't even work for me. Also, when you get the cable, make sure it's also meant for data transfer. Some cables are only meant for charging, so that might be also the uh, problem. So really, if this is not working, really try several different cables. And the best case really is plug it in using this Type-C port basically on your computer if you have one. Okay, then and when you connect, it pretty much finds itself automatically if all the settings are correct and your cable is the correct one. So as you can see, it's working perfectly and yeah, there are the zero problems basically. So you can uh, take this feed and drop it in OBS for example. Also, if it's still not working for you and maybe your computer is using your main web camera uh, instead of the like Sony camera, then you can open your uh, like Windows settings basically and go to the Bluetooth and devices here. Then scroll down till you see your cameras here and uh, make sure to disable this integrated camera. Simply click on it and you will see like a tab here where to disable it. For example, we can click disable here. So and make sure you leave only this Sony camera imaging edge only as the only camera on your uh, basically PC. And that's pretty much it. Good luck.